Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of I, the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, King Dio, and the upcoming Lauren Frey. Lately we've been seeing uh, a lot of talk on the internet wait, lately about the current state of Lindsay Ellis. I've seen like some commentaries on this, like she she released a statement, like a really long, like why I'm leaving Facebook post, like she's she's uh, begging for attention, uh, she's trying to garner some sympathy from her loyal followers, and... Um, it, it's kind of interesting, like, this happened the way it did, because I, I don't think a lot of people <laughs> have, um, who aren't, like, super, super invested in the whole Lindsay Ellis saga really understands what's happening with her personally. Like, it, it takes a lot of, like, it takes a lot of social profiling and just going through her history and understanding her as a person, but, uh, essentially... What's happening is that Lindsay has failed to become a mainstream social media personality. Like, she will never escape the uh, the shadow of that guy with the glasses. She will never escape Doug Walker. And uh, she will never escape the feminists. Like, she will never escape the monster she created. Like, she does not agree with them on everything. But she can't really go out and, like, really really talk about her true opinions on certain topics and like talk about the things that appeal to her personally because that's not woke enough that's not progressive enough that's not feminist enough and uh, more and more that this kind of thing is uh, impacting her like i believe like at one point she was uh canceled for not liking raya and the last dragon uh because of like its asian influences or something like that um a lot of people didn't like that uh, that angle um and uh, what's more, um, her her deals with PBS, her book publisher, those have clearly fallen through. Uh, her views are getting lower and lower on YouTube, and more and more people are starting to see through her nonsense. And uh, I personally, I, I like to focus on the book specifically because, like, I am I am an author, I am a, a published author, <laughs> as you as you all know, uh, blackcatbooks.org, buy my books. Uh, I am an, I am an author, an author myself, and I have been following her career with some interest because I there there are all sorts of really bizarre things about how this book got published, how it got like the the awards it did, and how quickly it dropped off the sales charts. Like, make no mistake, Axiom's End by Lindsay Ellis was a complete and total bomb, and its sequel, which I think was only released due to contractual obligations with the publisher also bombed and i've seen statements from like the owner of the publisher talking about how uh, social media followers don't translate to book sales and, and and it seems like ellis really failed to really capitalize on her pre-existing audience for this book like this doesn't appeal to progressives it doesn't appeal to like her core audience and so like other than a, a handful of people who wanted to uh, to read it because she was the nostalgia chick nobody nobody bought it and uh once the novelty wore off like oh man someone from that guy with the glasses wrote a book uh, the sequel did even worse and uh i've seen really interesting posts like detailing like uh the background of her agent and her publisher and stuff like that uh clearly <laughs> i've heard i've heard uh from, coming from people coming from someone who claims to be some major literary agent, that that Lindsay's book bombed so badly that it lost the publisher so much money that that it's very possible her agent got her no one her nobody agent got blacklisted from the industry entirely. That, that's that's the kind of situation we're in. That was the guy that's the that's the kind of situation she's in. Like her book has failed so spectacularly. She is never going to get another publishing deal from anyone. Uh, she's not going to be on TV again. She's not getting younger. She's not going, like that guy with the glasses is not suddenly going to become relevant again. She can't go back to how it used to be. She's kind of stuck where she's at. And where it looks, what it looks to be like right now is that she's kind of, uh, she's kind of uh, just taking a break from social media for a while. She's kind of going offline, probably to just try and uh, try to distract herself with some more alcohol. But all in all, I don't think, uh, all in all, um, 
for the longest time, it, it felt like Lindsay Ellis was kind of seen as, like, the success story of that guy with the glasses. Like, look at her. She's she's publishing books. She's on she's on PBS. She's networking with all these big-name feminists. She's she's taking photos with Anita Sarkeesian. Like, she is a big-shot uh, film critic, right? And uh, it wasn't actually true. It was all a facade. Sure, she may have millions of dollars because of, like, marrying some rich dude and and um, who I believe like has some STEM career and uh, her own success online, but like her personal life is a complete train wreck, right? Like she, um, I'm sure she doesn't lo love her husband. I'm sure she only married him to like to avoid the the stereotype of being the single feminist past forty. I'm sure I'm sure she's having alcohol problems. Uh, her age is catching up with her. Her habits, her uh, her interests. Uh, uh, her burned bridges, in particular. I, I, I'm still hearing stories about Mara Wilson, Matilda herself, like, uh, sh throwing shade at her on Twitter all the time. Like, having a former child star, like, hate your guts because of something you did. I I don't know the story behind it, but but it is true. Like, uh, Lindsay, like, we're, we're at the point now where we can reasonably expect, like, basically everyone from that guy with the glasses, other than, like, maybe Doug himself, will be irrelevant within the next five years, right? Like, I think Linkara is uh, on the way out. I'm sure, like, some major controversy is going to take him down. I'm sure, like, uh, Doug himself will retire soon, uh, within the next decade. I, I don't see him doing this, like, into his 50s. Um, you know, Spoonie's gone. Uh, thank uh, good riddance. Spoonie was the biggest fraud of them all. Um, we, we are... Um, uh, we're reaching the end of a end of an era, folks. Like every that guy with the glasses contributor is. We we are almost at the point where every contributor contributor has stopped uploading content onto any platform, and I for one cannot wait until that day comes.